Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. In the previous episode, we started playing as some more of the various different tainted characters. Um, we've done Isaac, we've done um, we've done Eden, we've done Judas, and we did Cain twice. We're going to try Lazarus this time around, see what he's got going on. Between life and death, flip. I've heard that this guy is pretty difficult to play, and he's kind of attuned to Jacob and Ezao, so I'm kind of interested to see what that means, because obviously, oh, that was, I didn't even mean to pick that up, but hey her, we're in it now. We're in it now. Um, <laughs> we got Cursed Eye, although Cursed Eye is a lot, I will say, Cursed Eye is a lot, lot better than it used to be, because it now fires five shots rather than four. So it does have a significant damage up going. Oh, what the fuck just happened to me? Okay, so Care Star is gone. Um, and I'm now a guy with two soul hearts. This is kind of interesting. And I'm gonna... Ooh, this is spicy. So after every single room, we swap. Variant. Don't take... I needed that, you shits. I needed to test what that is, because I think I know what it does. Don't take it again, you motherfucker. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. We flipped anyways. Okay, so I, I think that the flip active item lets us on command change to whichever side that we want to be on. So it's kind of like you're playing Jacob and Ease out, but you get to play them separately, which honestly is much preferred. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So we do not share items. That is, that is obvious. We do not share items. Um... With one of them having Cursed Eye, I have to say, I'm a little worried. Honestly, let's just chill. Let's just chill. I'm just going to fire this off so I don't accidentally get teleported. I know that it's only when you're charging, but still, I have the fear. Um, but yeah, let's let's chill and get the uh, get the Plum Flute going, because that could be pretty useful. The Plum Flute is pretty easy to get. Literally just survive with Baby Plum without shooting her for around a minute and 30 seconds. And just about now, there you go, she's gone. And we will get ourselves the Plum Flute. Um, we'll give the Plum Flute to this version, why the hell not? And we can't even afford to go to the alt path here. I guess I'll go back and see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, it's going to be difficult to know when to flip. But the, the most difficult thing is going to be evenly splitting items between these two. And like picking up soul hearts and red hearts and stuff is going to be kind of strange and difficult. This guy definitely seems like he has a massive damage boost though um white lazarus or dead lazarus as it looks like it is um seems to have the um seems to have the far better stats which is understandable okay we do have a tinted rock there but i doubt we're going to be able to get it oh also something that i did between episodes which i will show you guys in just a just a moment um by the way, it may look like sometimes it doesn't fire five tiers. That's because the tiers are all, like, clumped up. But I got my donation machine to 999. I bombed a few coins out of it so that I don't accidentally put a penny in it and uh, blow it up. But I got my donation machine to 999. We were previously at about 400. But I realized something really cool. If you play as Alt Kane, obviously all items become pickups. And the first floor item, and, if, uh, and the boss item as well, quite often become money. And I mean quite often, like you get nickels and dimes pretty regularly. So I just held R on the first floor. Um, do you know what? I will f I will flip for this. Yeah, because that's exactly what that does. Cool. Um, yeah, so I just held R and kept kept restarting floors and get, kept my item room. Got 10 to 15 cent, donated it, restarted. It took about 40 minutes to donate about 450 coins. It took... A, a very, very, very low amount of time. It was very, very easy. And I know it's spooky, but I'm going to go alt path. Why not? We got the key to do so. We're on Dross. I actually find Dross a little easier bar a few enemies. These enemies are particularly one of the ones that I do not find any easier. These enemies are horrible. They just charge with such ferocity so quickly and, like, there's hardly any cooldown between each one. So... It seems to me that we're going to really want flip on cooldown, like off cooldown all the time, just to make sure that we can flip when we need to. Because I think we're going to want to flip for certain items and stuff like that. We're going to be wanting to, to flip to be able to take item rooms. Fire mind is just bizarre. I'm going to take that on my other my other guy. Um, so I'm going to wait until we flip here, then come back to that. Because this guy's already got fine damage. 
Fire Mind is risky as shit. Honestly, it really is. Um, but I think it'll work out. Also, we want to be this guy for the boss as well because we've got the Plum Flu. I, by the way, yet again, another tainted character that I fucking love. This is so unique, so cool. Boss Fire Mind here is going to be just the most drastic of mistakes you've ever seen in your life. But I'm going to do it because the Zane. Do it for the Zane. There's Cursed Eye. <laughs> First teleport of many, I'm sure. So, Cursed Eye, for those of you that don't know, charge up, fire five shots. But if you get hit while you are charging a shot, you get teleported to a random room. It is very not good. Basically, we, do, we don't ever want to fight bosses as that guy. Uh, if we can avoid it, we always want to fight bosses as, um, as this dude. Because we're not going to teleport. Which, actually, thinking about it, it does make Cursed Eye a lot more valuable. The biggest downside, in my opinion, to Cursed Eye is that you um, you often have to fight like larger story-based bosses that take longer. Um, oh my god. Um, as as a guy with Cursed Eye, and you teleport out of the boss fight midway through it, and it's a pain in the ass. But that's no longer... Oh shit. More enemies. That's no longer actually a worry. Oh. I'd love to pick up that health as my other version. What I'll do is I'll beat the boss and I'll come back for it. Let's go fight the boss now. This is a really, really interesting balancing act that they've, uh, they've brought up here. I actually, actually, I was kind of like um, listening, I think it was recently to Alexa when he was streaming. He was talking about the fact that um, the, apparently the, the reason that the development of Repentance took an extra year was specifically for all of these extra characters. Like, they just, Ed apparently just came in and was just like, hey, I want to make 17 new characters. <laughs> And he was like, okay, <laughs> okay, then we can get that done. Um, I'm actually pretty on board with that too, so let's grab that. We don't need the health anymore, although I will go back for it because we just got old bandage. Uh, I'm not going to worry about flipping. Deal the devil, I do not care. Angel deals are far, far, far superior, in my opinion now. They have been made much better. Um, they are far, far more worthwhile going for. But this, one thing that I, I'm noticing that they've done with, um, with like, some of the new some of the new implementations of the alt path stuff and just a lot of the new stuff in repentance and especially like like I was just about to say the kit the tainted characters they've done this really cool thing where they've added the something that Isaac really didn't have and was sorely missing um, and I think Northern Lion has spoken about this recently in his videos as well. It's the options to make difficult decisions. Like, decision making was rarely, rarely a thing in Afterbirth Plus. Because essentially, the decisions boiled down to, should I play this blood bank? Yes or no. Should I pick up Isaac's heart? No. It's basically that. Everything else was kind of like, you just did it. It wasn't really a decision. Do, go, should I go to the deal level or angel? No. It's just go to the devil deal. But now, they've just, they've changed the meta so much so and added all these characters that are just so good for making difficult decisions. Like Isaac, uh, Tainted Isaac is a perfect example because you only get eight items. Now, we did have a really overpowered run with him, but like, it's not always going to be that way. And only getting eight items is real tough. Like, you have to make some hard decisions on what you want to keep and what you want to throw away. What do you value more? Like, do you really value the, the health or the shot speed or the tier rate? Or do you want a tier uh, modifier? You've, you've got to play your cards right. Um, I'm I'm not really that on board for Mother this, this time. Let's like, go have a little look at Tainted Lazarus's unlocks. Uh, Tainted Lazarus. And see what we want to go do. So, Mega Satan's definitely, like, top of the order. I'd love to do Mega Satan. Um, actually, honestly, um, Mega Satan and the Beast are the only main two that I want to do with this guy. So, we're going to be we're gonna be going for either one of those two. We'll see what we end up doing. We'll see what we end up doing. We'll probably leave the alt floor after this floor. Um, you just Now we've got to... This is really cool as well. Because we just got to get used to the fact that every other room, our the way that we fire tears completely changes. Like, if it's, it's this flip where we go from having normal tiers that are high, the pretty high damage to having Cursed Eye Fire Mind. Like, that's bizarre. That's such a cool, unique play, play style. And it's going to be really cool to balance, like, who gets what in terms of items. Uh, it's going to be really fun to, to sort of think about what benefits who the best. Because, like... Tier effects are going to benefit our Cursed Eye guy more. But at the same time, like I said, we do not want to fight bosses with this dude. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I knew we were going to get hit there. We, we do not want to fight bosses with this dude. So, do we really want to take tier effects on someone that we're never going to use on a boss fight if we can help it? It's it's difficult to say. Because the other guy, I'm just going to snack with damage and tier rate mainly, I think. The little corn coops. I'm hoping we can get an angel deal here, but we'll see. We want to be going into the fight with uh, with this guy anyways for the, for the flute. I'm going to take the random item. I'm going to take a risk. Oh, we got poop brim. We got Poop Brimstone, boys. Ooh, I love Poop Brimstone. Poop Brimstone is the best. Poop Brimstone. Right, so because we're this guy, let's go fight the boss now. Because this means that in the deal with the dev... In, in sorry, the, uh, the boss fight itself, we cannot lose our angel chance. Unless we get hit six times, which is, I'm hoping, unlikely. Um, so we'll, we'll go in. We'll drop this on you. This is also kind of a hard boss as well, right? It's just this this bounce thing that he does can can send him off in some weird directions. But we did uh, get a good amount of damage there with um, both poop rim. And do you know what? I'm going to flip and then take this. Yes, exactly, exactly as I wanted. It, uh, I don't know what, what stats it changed because I didn't quite get to see. But it increased our HP, which is kind of exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's place a bomb here. Gives us the access to the HP and this. Can you not place the bombs right there? I mean, I will just destroy this anyway. Why not? But, okay, this is a good floor. Uh, we've got everything we need. We don't need the key pieces or anything. So let's just go. But this is... Oh, this is this might be one of my favorite characters so far. I've been really enjoying, like, Alt Kane and, and Dark Judas was, was amazing. But this is just so interesting. Okay. So this is gonna be hard. There we go. Poop brim, poop brim to the rescue. Um, so let's get you firing up this way, maybe. It's so good that you can fire the poop brimstone like on an angle like that. This is real hard to kill this guy, by the way. <laughs> I'm having a really hard time. There you go. We got him. And then we flip. We ha we have like two really unique characters built so far. I think balancing HP, much like uh, Jacob and Ezao, is going to be the hardest thing. It's going to be the hardest thing to, to get right, making sure we give the right amount of HP to each to each half. But the fact that you can on-demand change between who you want to be, I actually do, would... I actually have to say, if this is how Jacob and Ezao was, I know that they now have Tainted Lazarus, so what's the point in having Jacob and Ezao the same? But if they didn't have the Tainted characters and Jacob and Ezao was like this, I'd much prefer it. This is way more enjoyable to manage. I feel like there's too much micromanagement in um, in Jacob and Ezao, and I've been having a real hard time with them recently. Oh, Poop Brim. It is the best thing ever. Poop Brimstone is my child. Right. Just got to, we've, we've got to really pay attention to who we are. Luckily, they are visually different, so that works out for us quite well. Um, but yeah, we've really got to be careful. We've really got to be careful. Grab you. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Don't get near me. Just get fire-minded. This is... Uh, one of them's super close range with a poop brim. Another one's really far away with fire-mind. It's just... It's so interesting. I love it. I am gushing a little bit, I do realise, but I'm, I have to say, can you blame me? Can you really blame me for gushing this hard over what is just amazing, amazing stuff? Get out of here. Poop Brimstone saves the day. Again, we do not want to fight the bosses, this guy. Really, really hoping to keep our angel deal alive here, so I do not want to get hit. I'd very much like a key as well. And we need two keys, actually. I'd like to go to our shop, because we're getting near to... 15 cent here. Uh, of course, I could flip, but I'm kind of waiting on that. Oh, we're taking damage in this room. That's fun. Yep, knew it. There's our angel deal chance gone. This room is pure fucking bullshit. I, like, there are many things in Repentance that I love. This room is one of my least favorite things ever. This room is so unbalanced, it's absurd. Um, I should have taken that on the other character, but I, oh well. Um, right, let's go fight our boss now. We did just lose that angel chance, so it's unlikely we'll get it on an 18% chance. Oh, that's upsetting. I uh, That room, it just sucks. I've, I've come across it many, many times now, and every time it, it makes me it makes me get hit. I, I don't think I've ever flawless that room. It's so hard. 
And I'm sure there'll be a few of you in the comments where you're like, oh, well, if you just did this movement and this movement, you'd be absolutely fine, but no. The, the room just isn't fair. Um, I am going to flip here and take this on you because you need the HP and damage more. Um, we definitely want to get a soul heart with um, with our other guy. The fact that Flip's a six room charge as well makes decisions even more difficult. It's not like a two or three room. Like, you do not get to flip many times a floor. Maybe twice. It's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult. Boop Brimstone to save the day. Oop, Brimstone is here to save the day again. Right, can I have a key, please, game? Can I have a single key? In fact, give me a key. That's not a key. That is not a key. I might have to go into the arcade and uh, either blow up or play some machines to try and get one. We'll see, though. Oh, this is a this is a naughty little room right here. This is a room that Care Star could very much come into play. Curse of Darkness really isn't helping either, I have to say. At least Curse of Darkness is a lot better now. I hope, I, I haven't actually really checked, but I hope for you guys on YouTube, the, the Curse of Darkness isn't too invasive. It isn't too bad. I really do hope. Because I know that the uh, YouTube makes things look a lot darker than they are for me. That potentially could be a problem. Okay, please, please blow up this... Stupid bomb spider. Oh my god, die. Stop fucking jumping, my Jumping over my shots. <laughs> He's avoiding me so well. Poop Brimstone, get in there. Get in there. It does so much damage. It's so good. Basically, whenever you can use it for enemies that chase you, you should. It's so good. It's very hard to aim, I'll say that. But it's still very, very good. Right, let's get in here. Still no item room. Oh, I was really hoping. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I was really hoping for a fireman explosion by the wall all still on that island. We did end up getting it. It does seem as well, which is good to know, that we can still charge our active um, while we're playing as the other character. Like, when we're playing as this Lazarus that doesn't have an active, we're still charging the plum flu, which is really nice. So we got our key. Now, this is an interesting one. This item is very spicy. So I'm going to take it as this character anyways. Uh, but this item's interesting very interesting essentially what it does is every single floor that we go to we get an empty heart container so this guy's this guy's health is just going to keep increasing which is great because it means that we should be able to give pretty much all of our hp to the other character and be fine ah no secret room um i trying to think where else our secret room could be let's go check down here real quick I am, I am going to just quickly check in here. See what we get. Old capacitor unlocked. A bunch of money. Okay, that worked out fine. We got ourselves the key we wanted. I'm going to go to the shop now. Trying to min-max these characters a little bit more to try and get what we want done. Uh, at the minute, we're on a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad run for going to Mega Satan. The school bag probably isn't super useful. I will take this. And do you know what? I'll open that up as well. It could be useful. It gave us the key. Two of spades. That's another. I know that only gave us one key, but it's still valuable. I probably should have saved it, but oh well. Um, but yeah, we're not on a great run for Mega Satan, I have to say, because we're just angel deals are kind of out of reach at the minute. But now that we've got a soul heart for this Lazarus, we should be okay. We should be okay. Let's Let's pop down. And see what we end up getting here. Right, so we've got this room. Single gold chest isn't worth it for me right now. So we've got to be really careful with uh, Cursed Eye when we're firing at close range, just because the explosions can screw us over so bad. But essentially, as long as we don't get hit too much as normal Lazarus, not this Lazarus, then we, we should be relatively... Oh my god. We should be relatively okay to um to get our angel deal this time because it's a hundred percent chance this floor so I'm, I'm hopeful i have to say i'm hopeful okay this time let's just play this immensely safe and stay pretty much still i love this character this character is the coolest okay this is great for us this was terrible this this movement that i've just done here is bad 
Okay, great. We saved ourselves a bomb. Damn it, I'm stupid. I should have I should have grabbed the soul heart before I finished the room. Either way, I can I can just come back after this room. Okay, try and kill these guys through the wall. Oh, we got a tinted rock here as well. That's nice. The shit laser kills the shits. Now that is uh That is very strange. Not a sentence I thought I'd be saying anytime soon. So we grab this as you. Then we come in here, we bomb this. We get two soul hearts, so I think what we actually do is, so this guy obviously just do not care about that item at all. In fact, I don't even think we're going to end up picking that up. Okay, that was fantastic for us. Careful of that. Setting these guys on fire makes these guys a hell of a lot easier. Just don't let them get close. Okay, now we're good. So, you have a few soul hearts in the works. I think we actually go, we do a bit of a flip-flop here. We grab that as you, then we come back as the other guy for the other one. And share the HP nicely. Oh, I do not like I do not like this room. We might want to end up taking it as this guy, depending on how much we get hit in this room. Because it might be a lot. I have to say, it's a, there's a possibility that it'll be a lot. Oh no, it was only once. I still think it's, it might be worth taking it. Yeah, okay, now it's definitely worth taking it as this guy. Because we just lost it, essentially. So we go back into this room. Oh, this is a hard room. We definitely need more damage as this guy. Cursed Eye is definitely augmenting our damage nicely, but our actual damage stat is still flat 3.5, and you can see that it's hurting us. So the next damage upgrade item we get, we should definitely give to this guy. Angel deal items, I'm not really sure. Really? Can I hit this dude, please? Blow him up. Explode him. Thank you. Oh, really? going to be like this game. Okay, nice. Right, we flipped. So then we go back and get our soul heart. I mean, there is going to be a little bit of micromanaging back and forward between picking up HP between rooms if you don't want to use flip. But I think for the most part, this works pretty well. Let's go back up this way this time. I could play you, but... No, we can't play you because it'll take soul hearts. Oh, wait, do you take red hearts first? I can never remember. I don't know if it affects our angel deal chance anyway, so let's, uh, let's wait on that. This is a horrible room that I fucking hate. I can't believe I missed that then. Oh, that room scares me so much. Okay, this is a room that I do not like. Enemies getting close to us with Fire Mind is not good. Luckily, the damage output from the fires there was really good. Uh, this should be our boss. Yes, it is. Poop Brimstone is going get to get us the kills here. Oh, shit. He got closer than I thought. Don't worry about it. Poop, poop brimstone to the rescue. Woo. My God. Okay, there you go. We do need to flip again before we do our boss. Let's quickly check in on our shop and see if there's anything worthwhile. Um, Obviously, not really. I mean, it would allow us to do a few flips, but nothing major there. Right. Um, So, we need to go and complete a room just down here. It's kind of... It kind of... It makes you want to complete more of the floor, which is good. Which is something that I'm not known for doing, so it's good for me. I just love the fact that we've got this cursed eye, but we, we can we can nullify the negative of the cursed eye by smart playing the flip. It's just, oh, it just leads to some really, really cool plays, I've got to say. It just leads to some very cool plays. I have a good amount of HP lying about, so we should definitely play that demon beggar after the boss here. I'm really hoping... We get this angel deal. I really can't see how we wouldn't at this point. It would have to be a momentous failure of a, of a boss fight. There's one here. I mean, I kind of saw that coming. Bye, Plum. Oh, really? Again? Could, could you not, sir? There you go. The poop brimstone got him. Okay, so here we go. We got this. Honestly, I'm fine with taking this on you because you'll get a black heart for it. Uh, then we pop in here, and do we want to flip with either of these? Right, so, I think, I think we want to go flip and grab this. Crown of Light for the double damage. Then we go back, and we, we, we'd we very much like to flip again before we play this, um, this Demon Beggar. 
because this guy's I don't know if it takes soul hearts I can't remember I'm pretty sure it doesn't but I can't remember uh, I, I don't want to lose my uh, my crown of like full HP on this guy so I'd much rather flip over to the other one because he's gonna be gaining empty heart containers each floor anyways but yeah, essentially, as long as we're at full red hearts and don't get hit in a room, we're going to get double damage, which is fantastic. Considering we're going to be using this guy for all of our boss fights, it's perfect for us. Uh, right, we got that. We even got a Tinted Rock here, which we unfortunately cannot open so far. Right, so... Let's go to you. And we will play you... Yeah, okay, it, it does only take that... Oh, we, we've also got old bandages this guy too, which makes it way more worthwhile. And we all we already got an item. I can't remember what missing page two does, but I'll take it. I can never I can never remember what missing page two actually does. Uh, let's go and have a little check check see, shall we? I can never. It's like an item that's been in the games forever, and I can just never remember what it does. Missing page two. Uh, upon taking damage, um, if Isaac's total health is at one heart afterwards, he activates the Necronomicon, grants more black heart. Eh. Doubles damage from black hearts from 40 to 80. Considering we've got a few black hearts, that's actually not terrible. Um, then let's go and pick up this. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot about the old bandage players here. That worked out really well. I should probably pick up that penny. And let's head to the next floor. Really, like I said, next floor, I would very... I just realized I didn't fucking fight the angel statue. Ah, fuck. God damn it. I just had the sudden realization. That's going to make things trickier. That's going to make things much trickier for us. We'll see how this goes. Oh, really? Really? That many fireballs? Okay, I will take this. Though. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's going to make things a lot trickier for us. Um, and I have done a boo-boo. A big one. And that I'm very upset about. That was very, very stupid of me. The amount of times I've done that as well. It's, it's, it always happens to me when I have to make a hard decision. Can you not? Fires, can you not? It always happens to me when I've got to make a hard decision about what item to take. Like, if there's two items and I'm like, eh, which one's better? Which one should I take? It always just completely derails what I was there for, which really wasn't the angel item at all. Oh my god, stop getting hit. <laughs> Fuck's sake, this guy does not have enough damage to do anything, really. Like, look at this. We're not even killing the mum's hand in a single burst of five shots. These two survived easily. Okay, that one just died for some reason. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we essentially now need two angel deals that are quickly coming to a close. We, If we could get one this floor, it would make it would make things a hell of a lot better. We're going to get hit again in this room but while charging, aren't we? Just don't f spawn a million of those fucking dark orb things. They hit me really easily. Also, these fly... Stop! I just told you not to do that. These little flies are tanky as shit as well. Okay, good. I don't really care if they summon spiders. Just get this thing out of my face. Please stop doing that. Okay, good. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot to fight the angel statue. Boneheaded move right there. Absolute stupid failure. There's, there's still ways we can do this, and there is still a chance that we do get an angel deal again to be able to fight it, but... Still, it doesn't bird well. Oh my god, I can't believe I was going to hit by the hollow. That'd be stupid. Oh my god. I'm getting re this real claustrophobic here. This room with fire mind is the worst. Yep, kind of, kind of saw that one coming. God damn it. I just couldn't shoot because of fire mind. I couldn't risk it. They were too close to me at most times. And that ended up getting me hit anyways. Really? Just spawn that on me. This is a hard room. This is a... Yep. Okay, we are absolutely hemorrhaging HP right now. We need more damage. Fuck, this is so weak. I thought Kestai was going to make us a lot more powerful. It seems very, very shite, I have to say. Very, very shite indeed. I mean, I guess I should pick that up. Why not? In fact, I should pick it up as um, as my other my other twin. 
Uh, let's just drop it here for now. I don't know how uh, how trinkets are shared. Actually, it might be it might be that we share the trinket, but I doubt it. Probably a trinket for each half. We go back in there. We grab this. Yeah, because I think this heals us at the end of each floor or something. I can never remember. Okay, let's not get teleported this time. Oh, for fuck's sake! I got teleported again! We don't even need to go in that room. Stop entering it, you stupid fucking idiot. Cursed eye is cursed. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have taken just an insane amount of damage as this guy. Right. Okay. <sighs> this is hard. As you, I think I don't want any of that. Right, let's go and fight that room again. But this time we're fighting it as flip side. So we should be okay. We can't be teleported out even if we take damage. But we didn't anyways because we've got insane damage on that guy. Then we come over here and I think we get Bookworm on this guy. I don't know if both of them can have Bookworm. And then we take Book of Shadows as just protective fodder. What did we get in here again? I can't remember. Oh, Ghost Baby. Okay. That was a bit of a nothing item. It's always funny when you do that. When you go into an item room, you pick an item up. And the item is so bad that you just forget that you ever picked it up. Right. 16% chance. It kind of has to come to fruition here. Otherwise, we're probably a little, a little bit screwed. Unless we want to play the curse room. But not knowing my HP. Uh, sorry, the sacrifice room. Not knowing my HP makes that uh, a very risky move. Um, this is Dank Depths 2. This is Mum. Hmm. Honestly, maybe I do want to play the sacrifice room just in case. I really don't know what my HP is looking like right now, but we can, we at least know that I don't have uh, that I'm on red heart still. So one. Right, was that red health? Wasn't. Two. That wasn't red health either. I don't think. Okay, that was. That was. Okay, I'm going to just keep picking up HP as I can. Just to try and get back to full health. See where I'm sitting at. Oh, it's a bit of, going to be a bit of a long process. But I think we have to do this to guarantee that we get the angel pieces. Yeah, so we picked up that as well. Okay. I actually think it's worth opening these up and trying to get health out of them. We didn't. Not out of that one at least. There you go. So we're, we're at full red hearts now, which should be, I think, six hearts. Play it again. We get another heart back. We play it again. We get a soul heart, which we don't want to take yet. We'll take that. And next, next one should be the angel deal. We grab that. Yes. Okay, so this is the angel. Pick up our soul heart. Didn't actually mean to there, but I'll take it. Then I'm going to go and check the wiki and make, and just check to see how many more of these I've got to go before I, um, before, I don't know if I'll flip after killing this guy also. I'm really not sure. Um, yeah, I, I want to see how many I've got to go until our next angel. Because I, I just, I, I want to make sure our health isn't too low. Like we, we need to, we still need to kill the boss and survive. So we're at, I think, nine players now. So if we go back and we go to sacrifice room. Sacrifice room. So we're at our ninth play, Uriel Battle. So the next play... Okay, so we, we, we definitely should play these next two. So one more. We got a bunch of pennies. Unfortunately, that is not the one that we wanted. Now we go back over here and we grab our HP. I get, get this is taking a bit of a long time, but I think it's worthwhile. Um, I think it's definitely worthwhile. Then I think we do one more play and that gives us our angel fight. Yes, it does. Good. Then I think we can go to the shop and buy a few more things. Although, wasn't it just the satchel and a battery? I don't think it was anything else. But then again, the battery is probably worth buying considering we're about to fight Mum with this character. Unless we want to flip beforehand, which honestly we probably do. I'm going to try and get him to hurt himself on the spike. I really never get why he gets hurt by the spikes, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, the fires are doing a really good job of protecting us as well, I have to say. You 
bastard. If that despawns that angel, I'm gonna shit a fucking brick. If that despawns that angel, I'm gonna shit a fucking brick. I know that we still have a chance of getting the angel later down the line, but come on. I didn't even think about the possibility of that happening. I should have just fucking flipped. God damn it. Of course. So now I'm pretty sure our our uh, Gabriel chance is gone. So. That was a, a bit of a shame for our second key piece, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. This might work out. Um, I definitely think we need to flip here. Um... I think, well, actually, thinking about it, if there is a battery in the shop, what we should do is we should flip. Ah, oh, it's just a key. It's not a battery. Okay, doesn't matter. Which is still, still, I'm, I'm still happy with the fact that we flipped, though. Okay. Get that in there. Right, try not to get hit, otherwise we'll lose our double damage. As if by magic. Fucking red mum. You're, you're such a shit. You've got so many feet. What's with all the feet, woman? Red mum is worst mum. Yeah, at least poop brim is really good against the fucks. It's a stationary target. That missed completely. Come on. There we go. Okay. Doesn't really matter which one of these we take. So let's grab that. Let's take a look at what health like. Of course, Empty Heart or whatever it's called is going to be doing great work for us. We should still be fine on HP. Although, looking at it now, it doesn't actually seem to be working. I've got I've got to admit, like, it should be giving us um, Empty Heart containers at the, at the start of every floor. And it really doesn't seem to be doing that, does it? Get that guy. Good, good. Get you. Just don't get hit while charging, please. I d just don't get hit at all, maybe. That would be pre preferable. Especially because we've got a 42% angel chance. Very much would like to keep that. Oh my god. These fucking butthole tumor things are the worst. These enemies are, are far worse, though, to be honest. I, I, I genuinely despise these enemies. There was one thing I could ask to be removed from the game, it would probably be these guys. <laughs> they are so frustrating to fight. Okay. Carry on. Health is actually looking okay, though. That's that's the one silver lining here. It's very annoying when we get a very, very easy room as the powerful character, I have to say. I very much like it the other way around. Oh, my God. Okay. This is actually not too bad. Just don't be stupid. Yeah. Just don't be stupid and we'll be fine. I really, 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 really... Okay, really bad room. I really like a fucking um, soul heart right now. I have to say it. Yeah, definitely going to be using this. We would 100% be getting hit in this room otherwise. And we probably still will. This isn't going to last the whole time. Nope, we're good. Okay. Okay, for some reason I thought I had invincibility when I walked into this room. I do not. Do not do that. Okay, I'm actually going to flip on this room just because this room looks just horrible. And I'll also, like, I really want to keep my soul heart and angel chance alive, so it's really worth flipping. But yeah, we've got two kind of half-powered characters, which is I kind of get the point, but it's difficult, definitely. I wonder if the poop brimstone is affected by our damage at all. I can't tell if it is. Okay. These little fuckers, which are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. Okay. Bookworm's definitely helping out with our damage dealing abilities here. Okay. Good, good. We come in here. Ah, oh, this is a room that we're getting hit in. 110%. We're getting hit in this room. How are you not dead? You just got hit with like 10 shots. And set on fire. Like, come on. Please just cooperate. Stop doing what you're doing, please. Okay. 
Okay. You just stop right there. Right, this is going to be our, our uh, boss room. Yep, boss. Uh, okay, this room's this room's box. This room's box. We will most likely take damage in this room. Oh, that was so close. That was so, so close. Right, we have to do another room, unfortunately, um, to flip before we do our boss fight. Which is very scary, but we do have Book of Shadows available to do so. So let's uh, let's make sure we use that. Yeah, definitely want to use it in this room, and then we flip. Okay, so Angel Chance is still alive. A forty-two percent chance. I'm pretty happy. Although we do still have some deal with the Devil Chance in there, which isn't ideal, and it'll probably end up coming to fruition and give us that deal with the Devil, won't it? Uh, right. So obviously we get in here, we fire off Plum. Plum's going to be real strong on this boss. Real, real strong. As you can see, um, just the amount of shots and the fact that she jumps on top of enemies is going to be real good. You can just tell with certain bosses if Plum's going to be like the saving grace. Okay, so we got the angel deal. That's fantastic. Make sure Jesus Juice is also great for this guy because he needs damage. Um, I think we go in here. The wafer, I think because of how we're going to play this, we, we want to flip, which we want to be flipping to fight this guy anyways. And then we do that. Because the thing is, what I'm thinking with um, what I'm thinking with taking it on this guy is, if we're going to be doing all our important boss fights, especially Mega Satan, as this dude, we might as well be taking half damage on this dude. And we should probably stack this guy up, up on HP from now on. Any soul hearts we get go to this dude. Especially considering I've just been hit twice on this boss fight, which is not good. Please don't hit me again. You're on such low health. Okay, so does it matter which one I take the key piece on? It doesn't seem like it does. Okay, so we got the key. Okay, so the run has been saved. Now all we have to do is survive. Now all we have to do is survive. I would definitely like more items on our, um, on our more powerful unit as well. I think that at the minute he's a little bit underpowered. Okay, this is a scary room. It's so easy to fire mind ourselves right now. Okay, we should be fine though now. Now that we've cleared out the uh, the doorway. Good, good. I'm just hoping that we can find our boss relatively quickly here. Okay, these enemies are actually really tough. These are some of the new enemies that I really, really love. Both the design in terms of how they shoot and the design in terms of how they look. Um, but yeah, they are they are hard. <laughs> Okay, rooms like this, I'm actually glad that we get um, normal Lazarus on because we switch when we when we finish them, which I think is perfect. Gather up the poop laser. Ooh, okay, okay. This is a hard room. But luckily, there's a lot of uh, enemies that chase us, and poop brimstone is fantastic. Fantastic for specifically those sort of fights. Very happy to see that. Oh, shit. We're not, we're not poop brimstone, boy. Be very careful about the explosions. We should be fine. <laughs> the worst part, the absolute worst part about this. Do you know what? I'm going to pop this. The absolute worst part about this is when we get teleported to another room, especially if it's a combat room, we fucking stay as this Lazarus. We don't switch. There's just extra rooms we got to fight as this dude. And now we're low on HP, which is not good. Oh, this is bad. Good. I do not like playing as this guy anymore. It scares me. Especially these dudes with the eyes. These dudes with the eyes are awful. Enemies that chase us are also really bad. Because it's very hard for us to shoot them and not hit ourselves with the explosions. If an explosion should occur. Very scary. I think that guy's a champion. He seems to be, like, pulsating. I don't know what champion he is, but... Right. Health on this guy is at least okay. That's something to be thankful of. Oh my god. That was bad. <sighs> Can't believe we got hit there. These dudes with the eyes are so difficult. Oh my god, I got hit again by you fucking stupid head bitch. Why? I have to say, this is very unlikely to make Mega Satan. In fact, I'd, I'd likely say that we won't make it past Mum because this guy will die. And... What the fuck hit us then? Do you want to... Game? Do you want to explain yourself as to what the fuck just hit me? 
I've walked into a room and instantly got hit. Just procs cursed eye immediately. Yeah, this guy being in this room is not good for us. It ain't good for anyone. We're going to have to use flip here, unfortunately. Oh, this is some tough stuff. Yeah, we're just not really getting any soul hearts or anything, are we, sir? Right, so we got we got a flip. Am I stupid? Did I just did I just ruin this? No, I didn't good. I called her in a bit early, actually. Probably should have waited on that. Yeah. Definitely should have waited. Oh my god, I can't hit the eye because I don't have the range. Thank you, Plum. Yeah, we're actually like not gonna win at all. This this, this run is actually trash. <laughs> it felt so good on the early floors, but like we've got no damage. Like this guy hasn't had a damage up in ages. The other character is super weak HP wise and damage wise. I very highly doubt we make it much further than this. Unless our unless we get to the uh, the chest and our items are somehow amazing, I doubt this is gonna work. Also, what are you doing? Are you like gonna fire a shot or something, or you're just chilling? Seems like you're just chilling. All right. Right, away we go. We're going to have to get, like, a miracle of HP and damage on these next two floors for this to work out. Because this guy is basically basically completely boxed. He's going to keep teleporting all over the place. He's got no damage, so he can't kill anything. We got hit again. Cool. Don't you dare shit out a child. This run is so boxed. And now we're not on full... Ow. We're not on full red health as this guy, so we do not get double damage at all. This is a really hard room. This is a really hard room. Hey, but we got the quarter, though. Can't complain too much if you've got the quarter. This is a really, really tough room. These blue fires, we can't shoot through them. Yeah, honestly, honestly, I kind of want to just die at this point. Like, this, this run isn't going anywhere. Fuck, I can't live. Nope. Oh, my God. This went to shit so fast. <laughs> This, this run died so fast. Oh, my God. But I have to say, though, I do love these characters. These characters are fantastic. But shouldn't have taken Cursed Eye. Obviously, a monumental mistake, um, which I kind of expected, to be honest. I just took it because why not? Um, okay, can you please stop making this guy invincible and let me kill you? This is so tough. Oh, my God. And there you go. We got teleported again. Fucking hell. Oh, no way. Reset the whole room. I thought I'd at least completed it. And there you go. We died. Unfortunately, we didn't really achieve anything apart from Mum's heart kill that fight. Uh, that, that that run. I I attribute that to a few things. Firemind Cursed Eye was obviously just a terrible decision. And we just never really got enough damage on our other unit. Even though he had double damage. Like, and like meat and stuff. It still didn't work. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Very cool character. Look forward to playing this, these guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.